Hi, I'm Bob. Thank you so much for learning introductory econometrics with me in the past few months, and for all the feedback and comments of encouragement. I will continue to post the solutions to the rest of the chapters in a modern approach, the seventh edition. Now we are at chapter fifteen. Instrumental variables estimation and two-stage least squares. We will do problem one to five today. For the first problem, consider a simple model to estimate the effect of personal computer ownership on college GPA for graduating seniors at a large public university. Where PC is a binary variable indicating PC ownership. In part one, why might PC ownership be correlated with the Ayrton mill? The unobserved factors that affect GPA include parents' income. It is in the Ayrton mill. Whether student owns a PC might be correlated. With her parents' income, in other words, PC ownership might be correlated with the Ayrton. In part two, explain why PC is likely related to parents' annual income. Does this mean parental income is a good IV for PC? Higher-income parents are more likely to purchase a PC for their children, so PC ownership is related to parents' annual income. But the parents' income is not a good instrumental variable for PC, because the parents' income also affects the child's GPA. High-income families have more resources for their children's education. So the parents' income is likely to correlate with the error term in the model. Therefore, parents' annual income satisfies the instrument relevance requirement, but violates the instrument exogeneity requirement. In part three, suppose that four years ago, the university gave grants. To buy computers to roughly one half of the incoming students, and the students who received grants were randomly chosen. Carefully explain how you would use this information to construct an instrumental variable for PC. We can construct a dummy instrumental variable indicating whether the student. Has been given the grant to buy a computer. The IV should be positively correlated with PC ownership, which the first stage regression can verify. The IV is not likely to correlate with the error term in the structural equation, because the grant recipients were randomly chosen four years ago. Let's solve problem two. Suppose that you wish to estimate the effect of class attendance on student performance, as in example six point three. A basic model is as follows. In part one, let this be the distance from the students' living quarters to the lecture hall. Do you think distance is uncorrelated with the error term mu? The error term in the structural equation contains unobserved factors that affect student performance. If the living quarters are assigned randomly, the distance between the living quarters and the lecture hall should be independent of the factors in the error term. But if students can choose where they live, the distance might be correlated with the error term. For example. Diligent students might choose to live near the school. 
If diligence is in the irritant mu, it will be negatively related to distance. In part two, assume that distance and the error term are uncorrelated. What other assumption must distance satisfy to be a valid IV for the attendance rate? Assume that distance and the error term mu are uncorrelated. Then the instrument exogeneity requirement is satisfied. The instrument exogeneity requirement is also called the exclusion restriction. In addition to the instrument exogeneity requirement, a valid IV should satisfy the instrument relevance requirement. It means the distance has a partial effect on the class attendance in the first stage equation or the reduced form equation for attendance. In the regression of attendance on the two exogenous variables in the model and one excluded exogenous variable, the F statistic for the significance of distance should be above 10 to avoid a weak instrument. In part three, we add the interaction term to the model. What might be a good IV for the interaction term? We can use the interaction term between the distance and the prior GPA as an instrumental variable for the endogenous interaction. Under the assumption that distance and prior GPA are exogenous, the interaction term between them is also exogenous. It is uncorrelated with the error term mu. The exclusion restriction is satisfied we can verify the instrument relevance requirement in the first stage regression. So we use distance and distance times GPA as two instrumental variables for the two endogenous variables in the model. Let's find answers to problem three. We consider the simple regression model and let C be a binary instrumental variable for X. Use 15.10 to show that the IV estimator can be written as follows, where Y0 and X0 are the sample averages of Yi and Xi over the part of the sample with Zi equal to 0, and where y1 and x1 are the sample averages of yi and xi over the part of the sample with ci equal to 1. This estimator, known as a grouping estimator, was first suggested by Ward. The instrumental variable z is binary. Suppose z equals 0 for the first N0 observations and equals 1 for the remaining N1 observations. The sum of N0 and N1 is the total observation N. Looking at the IV estimator, we focus on the numerator first. We can simplify it and write it as N0 times N1 over N times the difference between the two sample averages of Y. For the same reason, we can simplify the denominator to a similar term. Finally, we can derive the result. Let's look at problem four. Suppose that for a given state in the United States, you wish to use annual time series data to estimate the effect 
of the state level minimum wage on the employment of those 18 to 25 years old. A simple model is as follows. The explanatory variables are the minimum wage, population, gross state product, and the U.S. gross domestic product. The G prefix indicates the growth rate from year T minus 1 to year T, which would typically be approximated by the difference in the logs. In part 1, if we are worried that the state chooses its minimum wage partly based on unobserved factors that affect youth employment, what is the problem with OLS estimation. The OLS estimates suffer from omitted variable bias if the choice of minimum wage depends on unobserved factors that affect employment. The OLS estimates are biased and inconsistent. In part two, do you think that the U.S. minimum wage is uncorrelated with the error term. Employment is measured at the state level. The unobserved factors affecting state employment are mainly at the state level. It means the unobserved factors are state-specific. The U.S. minimum wage is the same for all states so it is not likely to be correlated with the error term meal. In Park Street, by law, any state's minimum wage must be at least as large as the U.S. minimum. Explain why this makes the U.S. minimum wage a potential IV candidate for state minimum wage. In Park Two, we argue that the U.S. minimum wage satisfies the instrument exogeneity requirement. Here, we know that the U.S. minimum wage is correlated with the state minimum wage, which we can always verify in the first stage regression of the reduced form equation for state minimum wage. So the U.S. minimum wage is very likely to satisfy the instrument relevance requirement. It makes the U.S. minimum wage a potential IV candidate for state minimum wage. Let's solve problem 5. Refer to equations 15.19 and 15.20. Assume that sigma mu equals sigma x, so that the population variation in the error term is the same as it is in x. Suppose that the instrumental variable z is slightly correlated with mu. Suppose also that z and x have a somewhat stronger correlation. In part 1, what is the asymptotic bias in the IV estimator. We plug in all the elements of the probability limit of the IV estimator when Z and mu are possibly correlated. The asymptotic bias is 0 0.5. In part 2, how much correlation would have to exist between x and mu before OLS has more asymptotic bias than the two-stage least squares? Using the probability limit of the OLS estimator when x and mu are possibly correlated, we find that the correlation between x and mu would have to be above 0 0.5 for the OLS to have more asymptotic bias than the two-stage least squares. This example illustrates that the two-stage least squares estimator could have more bias than the 
OLS estimator, even if the instrumental variable is only slightly correlated with the error term. Thank you so much for solving the problems with me. I will see you soon in the second part of the solution. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.